Hello and welcome to News MTV. My name is Tandwe Garusa. Story is making the headlines. Fugitive ex VP Mpoko hands himself to Zaki as court grants him bail. In the courts, troubled former tourism minister Mfumira approaches Supreme Court for bail. In sports, world renowned football superstar Cristiano Ronaldo yins on hanging his boats. Now for the news in fuller detail. Fugitive former Vice President Pelege Zela Mpoko finally handed himself to the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission, which immediately took him to court to face corruption charges relating to alleged abuse of office during his short-lived tenure as VP. Mpoko was being sought for storming a police station in Harare in 2016 to force the release of two Zinara officials who were arrested on corruption-related charges. Prior to his court appearance, Mpoko staged a dramatic evasion of Zaki officers who were on his trial. The embattled former VP was granted $1,000 bail and further ordered to report at the Blawaya Central Police Station Commercial Crime Division every Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. He was ordered to surrender his passport to the Blawaya Clerk of Court as well as to continue residing at his last given address, Plot 19 Douglas Dale Road, until the case is finalized. The much anticipated MDC demonstration in Mashingo failed to take place as planned on Wednesday after police issued a last minute ban on the anti poverty protest, inviting an immediate court appeal by the beleaguered opposition party. The appeal was later coached by a local magistrate. Business was usual in the country's oldest urban settlement with major shops open while ordinary people went about their business as usual. Residents could not be deterred by the heavy deployment of anti-riot police in the city center and residential areas. The MDC has seen its protests blocked in Harare, Bulawayo, Gweru and lately in Mashingo. A court bid by MDC legislator for Warren Park Shakespeare Moskwa to seek the reversal of a presidential order which downgraded U.S. dollar balances to RTGS earlier this year hit a snag when the high court ruled that the lawmaker failed to support his argument. Hamal Square had petitioned the court arguing that the presidential act which decreed the controversial switch of currents were abused. In his arguments, Hama also argued that the president overstepped his authority while exercising his prerogative under the act. But the presiding judge said Hamauswa failed to establish a case in order for the court to entertain his application before he slapped him with a cost on a higher scale. Troubled former tourism minister Priska Mfumira, who is languishing in remand prison in Chikurubi over criminal abuse of office charges, he has approached the Supreme Court seeking bail. This comes after his efforts to seek your freedom with the High Courts have failed. In a Supreme Court application, Mfumira, through her lawyers, insisted that she is entitled to bail. I joined Diaspora Funeral Police when my father passed away. Without them, I don't know where I could have started with all the things I covered for the, for the funeral. For me, to be honest, diaspora cash plan, it was very easy, good transaction. It was only a matter of phone call. Then they said they would do everything, the rest. To be honest, by end of the day, I got the settlement. We end with sports. World-renowned football superstar Cristiano Ronaldo has made a shock revelation that his professional football career may come to an end sooner than expected. The 34-year-old proved he remains at a world-class level despite his advancing years after scoring 28 goals in his debut season with Juventus over the 2018-2019 campaign, helping the club to yet another Serie A title. While he stated in the past that he may take his career well into his 40s, the fifth time Ballon d'Or winner has now cast a doubt on whether he will extend his career for much longer. Reporting for News Zim TV, I am Tandwe Garusa. For more, visit our website www.newzimbabwe.com.